Hello and welcome to another edition of Protomat Tries. And in today's video, because it's Easter, I'm going to be trying a candy. Warheads uh, Chewy Bunnies. Which is apparently mildly sour, which is kind of disappointing, given that it's Warheads. But, uh, who knows, maybe these will be good. Here, I I'm assuming these are like gummy rabbit heads. And they do have uh, three different flavors. Got uh, green apple, watermelon, and blue raspberry. Mm. It's a good thing it's wrapped in plastic, otherwise, you know, I would have just ruined that whole thing. <laughs> this whole video would have been, had to have been uh, scrapped or something. Or just taken a really gross turn. Oh, I can smell the gumminess <laughs> right here. Oh, I can't tell which scent that is offhand. Let's, uh, let's start with the green apple. I'm going to assume that this green one is the green apple because on the box, green apple is green. <laughs> Uh, can you even see that? I don't know. And well, let's give this a shot. Not bad, actually. I I think whatever uh, coating these have is kind of helping me to bite into the gummy a bit better than with other gummies. I think that's part of the reason why I was able to enjoy the other Warheads gummy that I tried like over a year ago. Those, uh, were they black hole something? The ones that turned my tongue kind of a blackish color in the video. Rather a blue color, but, you know, I didn't didn't, didn't change my tongue a different color this time around. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah. It's fine. I guess it was green apple flavored. I guess I was more focused on the uh, texture of it, admittedly. That's on me. And how much easier it was to chew than normal gummies, because... Anyway, we got the, the watermelon one. Let's go. Okay, definitely got the watermelon flavor there. And, uh... It's right when it says mildly sour because I'm not really getting a whole lot of that sour flavor that Warhead is normally known for. Finally, we got the blue raspberry. Mm. Okay, that one's actually kind of sour. Yeah, it was a good thing I went with for the uh, blue raspberry last. That surprised me with how sour that was. Again, not nearly on the same level as, you know, Warheads would imply. But a, a, a pretty decent sour mixed with the taste. I'm going to try the green apple again just to, just to see if maybe I just ignored the green apple flavor when I was eating it. Because I know I didn't mention the flavor. Yeah, that does have a green apple flavor to it. 
I would say that's also maybe a bit sour, a bit more sour than the watermelon, but not quite on the same level as the blue raspberry. Blue raspberry is definitely won this little competition that I made up. Now just for the sake of completeness, I got another blue raspberry. Mmm. That was good. Mm. Yeah, blue raspberry was the definite winner of this pack. If they're still around, um, I guess Warhead's Chewy Bunnies. Ooh, it's got a bit of a an after sour. Nice. Anyway, uh, Warhead's Chewy Bunnies, they're fine. I mean, if you're still shopping for uh, Easter candies on Easter, you clearly have skewed priorities. <laughs> Either that or somebody just surprisingly invited you to Easter, su Easter Sunday and you had no idea what that even was. <laughs> and also they asked you to bring candy. <laughs> In that hyper-specific situation, if you can find these, they're worth picking up. <laughs> uh, so, until next time, I'm Protomet. See ya! Breaking news! Uh, uh, while I was recording, I did not notice this, but after I had stopped recording, I did notice this. In uh, my bag of these, I have two of these hybrid... Uh, Gummies, watermelon, and green apple. Uh, there's no mention of it anywhere on the packaging. In fact, uh, just before hitting record, I thought there was only one of these. But then, while I was while I'm filming, I found a second one in there somewhere. If you can see it. It's in there. Trust me. So we're gonna we're gonna give this a shot. I was not expecting uh, this to be a, a surprise bonus to this so enjoy this watermelon green apple flavored thing I would definitely say the green apple flavor is more prominent than the watermelon flavor, but I'm not going to say that the watermelon flavor is absent. I do think there's, a, there's quite a bit of a, a watermelon flavor there. But it's mostly taken up by the uh, green apple. Anyway, that's a fun little bonus, and until next time, for real this time, see ya!